When the High Court upheld Munya's election as the governor of Embu, Dixon Mwenda, a voter moved to the Court of Appeal to challenge the decision. According to Mwenda, the High Court erred when it ordered scrutiny of ballot papers in only seven polling stations out of the disputed 82. He also argued that the court denied him a chance to cross-examine the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission and the mayor returning officer on the contents of defective forms 35 and 36. The three courts of appeal judges, Al Nasir Visram, Jamila Mohammed, and Otieno Odek, after listening to all the parties' submissions, declared the election of Munya as null and void, citing malpractices in the election. The court heard that High Court Judge James Macau relied heavily on Munya's submissions in making the ruling. Munya was declared the winner after he garnered 184,000. 273 votes against Dr. Kilemi Muria's 180,837 votes. Proceeding to the Supreme Court, we think it is important at this juncture when we have a new constitution in place for the highest court in the land to start to set parameters and to provide proper legal grounding on what circumstances should lead to an nullification of an election. Yes. Done a lot to improve the welfare of the lives of the people, including setting up uh, savings and credit societies for, for men, for women, and for the youth in the entire Meru County. So, Yandarandiko agenda for transforming our Meru County. Munya, who served as Tigania East Member of Parliament before being elected as a governor, is the second governor to lose his seat through an election petition after that of Siaya Governor Colonel Rasanga, who was subsequently re-elected in a by-election. Munya says that he will move to the highest court in the land to challenge the decision. The latest development coming hot on the heels of the Senate impeachment of former Embu Governor Martin Wambora. However, Wambora has moved to the high court to challenge challenge the decision by the Senate. Haligan Agade for the news hour.